Hey, this is Nate from Fall City Community Bike Works. Um, going to show you some of the most common problems that happen with V-brakes, things that we see all the time that cause V-brakes not to work. So this is a set of Shimano V-brakes. They are uh, shaped like a V. Um, sometimes these are called linear pull brakes. That might actually be the Shimano um, trademark term. But uh, so what what commonly happens here is that uh, these these brakes aren't working. So let's say you're riding along, you're you're you're, uh, um, you're rolling and you squeeze your brake, nothing happens. Wheel's still spinning. This is my front brake on the left here. Um, oh, sorry, left of the bike. Uh, so I've set this this brake up with the most common problems that we see. Um, in the interest of uh, you understanding these problems when they happen to you or happen to someone you know, you can quickly fix them, get them on the road again. Most common problem that we see is that the noodle is not um, retained in the noodle retainer. So this curved piece of metal right here, the cable passes through this. This is called the noodle, um, and it needs to be retained in this little uh, noodle retainer bracket, I suppose. So the way you do that is you, you're going to pull the noodle with one hand, and you're going to move the brake in with the other hand. And then this kind of slides into a slot here, and it gets retained like that. So these V-brake uh, retention brackets have a little slot where this um, the head of the noodle sort of fits in, the cable can pass through, and now it's retained. Um, so I, I, urge you to, I urge you to do this in a non-emergency situation to practice this. This is also how you get your front wheel off if you want to, say, uh, put, the, put the bike on, uh, in the back of a car, for instance. Um, so now the noodle is in the correct spot. So the noodle is attached. So we're going to try this again. I'm actually going to try and replicate this other problem that I was hoping to do. Um, we're going to try again. Oh, this doesn't feel very good. Um, okay, so another very so now this feels kind of tight. There's a, there's some like friction in the cable. Um, another very common problem that we see is that the cable does not enter the the barrel adjuster correctly. It instead is to the side of the barrel adjuster and it's like sort of partially through the adjustment, there's like a slot here that the cable can pass through. I'll try to give a shot to highlight that. Um, so basically this cable is just not, not where it needs to go. The cable is passing through the side of the barrel adjuster, which introduces some friction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna resolve that. We can see that the, so this cable is out of the barrel adjuster. The cable end does not run smoothly through the center of the barrel adjuster. I'm simply gonna pull the cable back, line it with a slot, and it goes in the barrel adjuster. So now the barrel adjuster turns freely. So this is how we can do fine adjustments on our uh, on our brake cable tension, and the cable moves freely as well. Okay, so we're not done yet. There's a little squeak here, that's not the problem. The problem is that one side of the brake is moving, the other side is not. It's just up against the uh, tire. So if you're gonna run, it's gonna rub. Um, you can probably see the problem here. Um, What's happened here is that the spring that makes that the right side arm spring back has come undone. So each of these V-brakes has a little post here, and this little post, the spring goes on the other side of the post and sort of tensions this outward so that both of these V-brake arms, the caliper arms, are pulled outward or pushed outward by the force of the spring. So now as we turn the lever, so we, as we pull the lever, um, these V-brakes are both moving uh, in a balanced way. So now I've replicated um, another very common problem. So our spring is attached, our noodle is attached, our cable is attached correctly. Things are moving smoothly at the lever. Um, but again, you see that one side of the, the V-brake arms is moving readily while the other side is not. So what's going on here is we have an imbalance in the spring tension between these two uh, caliper arms. So most V-brakes, have um, an adjustment screw on both sides. Some only have on one side. In this case, this is a Shimano V-brake. It's adjusted with a Phillips number two. Um, some other brakes, uh, especially some older Avid models, adjust with a, um, probably a two and a half or a three millimeter hex. But the adjustment works about the same. So we're just gonna put a number two Phillips on that uh, adjustment screw. And then what I usually do is I pull the lever with one hand. So it's off screen, I'm pulling the lever with one hand repeatedly. And then now I'm just turning the screw to until these start to move about the same. So as you tighten the screw, you're increasing the spring tension, which tends to make that arm move further outbound. So that'll help you guide the um, 
guide the adjustment process. So now you see if I go too far, if I adjust this too far, now I've over tensioned one spring. And now you see that this arm on the screwdriver side is moving more. So that's too far. So I'll back it off a little bit. And this is something that you just do with trial and error to try to get centered up. A little more. Oh, a little bit the other way. There we go. So now those are about balanced. And as long as your rim is true, you should run um, with no rubbing of the brake pads on the wheel. So another common problem um, is uh, when pad when your pads have worn and your cables have stretched, uh, the lever pull no longer makes the pads engage with the rim. So I've replicated this by just letting some cable out. So right here I'm pulling the lever, the brakes are moving, but I'm not getting any stopping power from the pads. You just see they're not, they're not making contact with the rim or not making contact regularly. On V-brakes, this is extremely easy to adjust. You're gonna take a five millimeter Allen key. Um, most V-brakes are adjusted with a five millimeter Allen key. Um, and there's this retention bolt. You see the cable passes through this. You're just gonna loosen this cable. You don't, this bolt, you don't have to remove it. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just simply pull the cable through until the brakes make contact. I'm gonna back it out about five millimeters, half a centimeter, and tighten this bolt up. You don't need to apply a ton of force to this bolt. Um, you'll know if the cable slips. Uh, so now we're gonna check this again. Now we have um, good, good travel of the pads. You don't want these to be too tight, um, such that you're, you're rubbing the rim when they're um, in the slack position. But right here, you're getting a pretty good, um, pretty good actuation of the brake pads, and they're running smoothly against the rim. Also on many models of V-brake, there's a little stud in the back where the cable retention bolt is, that this, the stud that retains the spring, you can use that to retain the end of the cable, just keeps this clean, helps, um, helps avoid that from getting frayed or caught on anything.